Hey, Paul, are you excited about this Zoe 101 reboot? I am excited. I am ready for it to happen. Today, we are snacking and reacting with Paul Butcher. I am so excited. We have five drawers, and the theme of today is Butcher, of course. Just how crazy will it get? That's my, those are my butcher hands. I don't know. What's up, Paul? Are you ready to snack and react? Uh, I think so. I kind of, I don't know what I'm in for, but I'm excited. Let's open our first drawer though, okay? okay. You ready? So do I open it now? You and I are gonna do this together. You're not alone. Oh. What is it? <laughs> it's like, it's beef jerky, right? Wait. <laughs> Snap into a Slim Jim. It's a Slim Jim. Yeah, it's it's tricky. Oh yeah! I feel like you can hear me chew. Zoe, I've been looking all over for you. Hi, Casey, put my little brother Dustin. Yep, the kid's got great timing. There you are! Oh my goodness! It's a baby ball. Put. It's a baby ball. Baby ball. Ball. It's a baby ball. Baby ball. Ball. Butcher. What? You know what? You say it five times fast. It's a baby Paul Butcher. 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 It's, baby Paul Butcher. Uh. it's your name. No fair. I need to get that haircut back. <laughs> this was your natural hair color? Um, no. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like too far off. I was blonder back then. The producer had me dye my hair to match her. So he's like, you need to be really blonde. And the irony though is then season two happened and she mm -hmm. came back to set with brown hair and everyone was like, what? And she like surprised everyone. And then I guess it didn't really matter, but I stayed blonde. Open your second drawer before we start to react to this gem. <laughs> oh, I know. They're- What is this? Rice treats? I don't know what this- <laughs> Chicarones, man. Chicarones. Pork, pork rhymes. Oh. Cheers. Let's do it. Cheers. You wanna talk too loud? Don't wanna wake the neighbors. I'm talking to you, but you don't hear me. Oh my God, I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe you're showing this video. Are you embarrassed? Come on. I was like such a teeny like Disney kid trying to sing. <laughs> it's so, but I mean it's great. It's iconic. Like all my fans talk about this all the time. So I'm proud of it, but it's definitely funny. You should be proud of it. It's a moment in time. And you know what? It's still fire. This video was filmed <laughs> at my school, my high school. And we just went around the school filming at different locations and in the library and in the field. And my high school is really nice. Um, I'm not so even cool. a dancer, like I'm a terrible dancer. I still kind of remember the moves from this. Uh, I literally like, I still know the whole leg thing, body roll, like I, this dance was like ingrained into my head. Um, Listen, from one bad dancer to what you said is another one, I need to learn choreography backwards, forwards, and left just so that I don't completely make a fool of myself. So. Yeah, I, I used to be a lot better. Like during the time of this, this video, I wasn't bad. I was actually like pretty decent, but then like as the years went on and I didn't stick with it. What do you think our third one is? Oh, is it? Is this prosciutto? It's prosciutto. It's not so bad. I love prosciutto. It's like it's not bad. I'm like a big fan of prosciutto. Yeah, I've never had prosciutto from a drawer before, but I'm ready. Prosciutto from a drawer is the only way. It looks a little looks a little sweaty. <laughs> Behold the awesome power of Mount Vesuvius. Your character seemed pretty nervous in this. Uh, oh my god, there. I wasn't even paying attention to the clip. This is <laughs> yes. I love this. I, I This has just stuck with me so much and I just love this movie and I love my character. I think he's so goofy and funny. I too built a volcano. Wait, you built a volcano? I never got to do fun stuff like that. Yeah, we had the science fair and I built a volcano. I feel like when I say I built the volcano, it was more like my science partner built it and then I like set it off and took the credit, but you know. <laughs> Believe. You were that guy. I was I was kind of that guy. I was kind of that guy, you know. <laughs> Brian O'Hanlon. What's up, Brian? He wants to know, what was the best part filming Zoe 101? And have you thought about doing a music video for your current single, Freaky? The best part, I think, was just getting to hang out with the cast. Like, I specifically remember, like, when we would have late night shoots and uh, at Pepperdine and stuff, and we'd all be in, like, the bean bags, just laughing, like a little family, and just, like, yeah, we just, we laughed so much. 
And then um, with Freaky, yeah, um, I actually am gonna have a video for my song, Nothing. Freaky will be coming at, right after that one, so you're Yay! gonna Yay! Go. Yeah. It's a great, it's a great song. I know, I debuted it uh, the last time I was here with you. That's right, that was amazing. That was so much fun, and it's a great song. We'll open this next drawer, and uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see what you think. Is this fried chicken? It's liver. Chicken liver. What what happened to like hot wings, Chrissy? Why couldn't I just get like some- We are, we, hot wings was already done. We can't do spicy, spicy, spicy. We have to do weirder, weirder, weirder. I don't want to play out first. Because you suck at it, dumbass. Hey, the casting director said you weren't allowed to curse. Well, if you weren't a dumbass, I wouldn't have to. Okay, quit it. You quit a brace face. Oh, oh, I forgot about this. It's a blast from the past. All right, I'm going to take a bite. Yeah. This one I'm not like a fan of. Not a big fan of this one, but I will take two more bites. I'll just hold it. I'll like lick it. Yeah. yeah. You tried it and that's what's mm. most important. So tell me about King of Queens. Leah Remini is so cool. She's so cool and the whole experience was so fun. I think we did one rehearsal take and two actual takes and then Leah was like, you guys got it right? And they're like, yep. And she was like, cool. And that, that was it. I was like, no. It was just like a really positive, happy experience. Ryan would like to know, hey, Paul, could you still sing the Gummy Worm Blues? Let me get a little, let me see. Um, I got the Gummy Worm Blues. I can't afford to buy shoes. Life can be so mean. I got it. Get me some green. I'm feeling down on my luck. Could use a couple of bucks. I got the gummy, gummy, gummy worm blues. <laughs> Yay! There you go, Ryan. I hope you yeah. enjoyed that. That was pretty cool, Paul. Okay, man. Last and craziest drawer number five. Are you ready to see what's in it? Is it a heart? All right, you ready? Oh, One, God. two, three. It looks the same as the one before. Tis not, Saya. It is a heart. It's a oh, I was right. To be fair, don't you like bite into like hearts and stuff like on TikTok? That's why I got this idea. I mean, okay, actually, this one I respect because you're you're kind of right. Yeah, I like I I have a like a Dexter alter ego on TikTok for sure, which I really actually enjoy doing. Um, how many milligrams should we uh, put in the? Why did you lose my goggles? You have pretty eyes. Oh, Jeanette. I love this. All right, I'm gonna take a bite of, she has my heart, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bite in honor of Jeanette. I'm taking it with you. Oh, God. It's not bad. Yeah, I actually don't mind it. I'm gonna put it back. I don't mind it. It just tastes like a chicken wing. Yeah, it's like a little, like a rubbery <laughs> chicken wing. So tell me about this clip, man. Me and Jeanette have like worked together three million times. So before she mm -hmm. was even on the show, we did Hollywood Homicide together. And she actually was my first on-screen kiss and it was by accident. So she was supposed to kiss me on the cheek. And as she went to kiss me on the cheek, I turned and she kissed me on the lips. And that's the that's the one they the take they ended up using. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, so she was my first <laughs> on-screen kiss. And then was this Zoe 101? Yeah, this was Zoe 101 where she played okay. my bad girl girlfriend. The irony is when uh, I do something like spicy on TikTok, people were like, Trisha Kirby taught you a couple things, huh? And which is her character. <laughs> okay, and the last question comes from Abigail Gutsmer. She says, hey Paul, are you excited about this Zoe 101 reboot? I am excited. I i am ready for it to happen. <laughs> I think we like, we got together and all discussed the possibility of a, re of a reboot. Unfortunately, the pandemic happened and I think that kind of put everything on hold. So we're just waiting for that to finish. I know iCarly is coming back, which is super exciting. And I may even have a little guest appearance on there. Some we'll see. Ooh, um, can we say that? We uh, can say that, we I can can't, keep I can't it I can't confirm or deny, but there's a possibility. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. I, I cannot tell you how fun that was. It was a little scary. Oh yeah! Where can we find you and uh, yeah, all that jazz? You can find me on Instagram and TikTok at, at Paul Butcher, which is just my name, and on Twitter 
as at the Paul Butcher, and then Spotify, Apple Music, all the streaming services is just Paul Butcher. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please smash that like button. Have some fun, come back, enjoy more of my videos. Watch my whole library if you can, because it all helps me. Thank you guys, I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. See ya.